Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. I had to take a day off, y'all. My job, the work me, you know, when they be like, you get, you work all week and be weekend by the weekend, but my weekend is during the week. Yes, I, I'm trying to tell you, I want, I don't want to work. That's the, my honest truth. I do not want to work at all. Okay, but the reality is I got bills to pay and I got people I take care of and I got things to do. But if it wasn't for that, if I can go live a peaceful life off in the woods somewhere, I would. I would pick up the resources from the earth. Okay, so Pisces, <laughs> let's hop into this read and let's get it beyond the self oracle to see what guidance the universe has for you today. Okay, Pisces. Okay. Um, do your thoughts need a reboot? Focus on the good in your life. Basically, see, I was just kind of saying, like, for me, the reality of it is uh, bills got to be paid. People got to be taken care of as well as myself. And, you know, the things that money have to buy in this world you know, is required in some cases, okay? But do your thoughts need a reboot? Focus on the good in your life. So no matter how much stuff is going wrong or headed left, there are still many blessings that's right in front of you. If you could put your mind to some positive thoughts, everything comes back full circle. What your mind believes, your body believes, what you think, that's what the universe resonates with, the truth of your thoughts. So, Make sure that they're positive and make sure that you're activating the thoughts that of the things that you want to see play out in your everyday life. All right. So Pisces, that's your guidance here. Let's hop into this reading. Let's check up on the energy of your person and see how they're feeling about you when it comes to love, romance and relationships. Okay, we're going to use these little everyday tarot cards, okay, to pull that energy from your person. Oh, somebody's missing you, Pisces. Pisces, you cut somebody off recently, okay, and um, they fighting the whole back from reaching out, okay? Somebody's fighting the temptation, from reaching out to you, okay? This is somebody who loves you, okay? The death card. Hmm. It was something you said that changed everything. Something you did that put a stop to something for them, okay? Um. Look, you see what I'm saying? Like, it's like they want to, like, she like literally down there pleading with this shadow of death. You know what I'm saying? She pleading, please, whatever it is. Okay. Um, what I'm seeing, I see this ship floating. This little sailboat is going. I'm hearing your time is passed and you missed it. All right, Pisces. So you may, may have gave a lot of time and energy and put a lot of effort into this situation. Maybe gave more of yourself than you needed to. And you stopped. And I see the tables being turned. I see this person really wanting to be in your energy, but it's like I can't reach out to you because you cut me off. You let me go, right? And this person got a lot of pride, okay? They want to reach out to you, but they resisting the temptation. It's because of their pride. Their pride won't allow them to reach out to you, even though they really want to. Like, it's, they really do. Okay, the Ace of Wands, they definitely want a second chance here, an opportunity, you know, to, it's passion. Okay, Pisces, it's passion. This person mad you took the goodies away. That's what it is. They, it's something about the goodies, you know, one more time. Give it to me one more time. That's what I'm hearing, one more time. Wow. The devil. <laughs> You, they obsessed, like they are hooked on the snacks. They hooked on the snacks, Pisces, and they upset that you took that away from them, but they still strongly tied to you. It's like, yeah, you let me go. You open your hand from this soul tie. You open your hand, but I have not pulled away yet. And it don't seem like you have either, but I do 
know for a fact that you let somebody go because something about it ain't going right. Something been happening too long or you not getting what you want out of it. Um, this person is passionately in love with you. Like they love your S E X for real. Like they will beg for that. They don't care if you let them go, just allow me to continue to have you the way I had you in a passionate way. So Pisces, this person is definitely obsessing. Look what's turned over in there in the deck, the nine of wands and the knight of pentacles. They haven't given up on you, but they're going to take the time they need, right? While, while you turn your back on them, they planning. They planning a return, okay? They trying to be smart about this Pisces because they really want it to work out. Okay, so this person is planning to come back. They have not given up on you, but they um <laughs> having the wands. You blocking them. You won't allow them in, right? So that's that's why. They feel like, let me get Pisces sometimes. Let me come up with something. Because if I come in right now, I'm gonna get shot down. I'm gonna be blocked. The Nine of Pentacles. Pisces wants to be single is what they thinking. Pisces want to be single. Okay, so let's go straight to the heart of it, which is the devil. Let's see why they haven't moved when they're free. You freed this person from you, but they haven't went anywhere. Why? Why? Because they still want to talk page of swords. They still want to have a conversation. Oh, a real conversation. They want to be real and genuine. Okay? In the past, they may have talked mumbo jumbo, but right now they want a real genuine conversation. They really want to express to you some truth to bring about some form of clarity over what they feel for you. Okay? King of Wands also comes with that devil. Okay, Pisces, this person is, um, they're trying their best to hold down that chaos that's living within them. They are, they are holding down that chaos with, with, that's living within them because the fact of the matter is the fact that they can't talk to you and want to, and want to bothers them. Okay. The fact that you kind of on and off back and forth with them bothers them. Okay, this been going on for a minute. This King of Wands, he's it's, it, he's a steady person. Okay, he's consistent. He shows up every day. You know what I'm saying? And um, he's passionate about what he does. Okay, so Pisces, this may be an intimate, passionate conversation that's coming towards you for the, from this person. Okay, because like I told you, they addicted to the the sexual part of this connection and that's just what it is they're addicted to that your shit is the best you got the best candy in the fucking world to this person like there's that soul tie there's a connection off of that and they want to talk about it so let's talk to the death card let's see what changed because they feel like all of a sudden you just was like done okay because you may want to heal yourself right you may want this person to pour everything into you and only you, okay? You want somebody you in alignment with. You don't want any more hard relationships. You don't want any more relationships where you got to guess or where you confused or it's not a commitment or it's not stable enough, right? You want a person that's healed. You want to be healed. You trying to heal yourself. And sometimes when you're dealing with a toxic karmic, a past life person or somebody who just, you so unsure about it, knocks you right out of alignment. So I feel like your reasoning for just letting people go is, and when I say people, because at that moment, I felt like it was more than just this person. It could be close family members. It could be friends. It could be jobs. Anything that's not aligned with your growth, with your healing, I just feel like you're willing to let go. Anybody who's part-time pouring in you or not willing to give you they all. I just feel like you really want to let stuff like that go because when you do something, you do it 100%. There's no half step and I'm giving you a hundred or I ain't giving you nothing. If I can, I will. You know what I'm saying? And you just want somebody to reciprocate that, to kind of like return that naturally without you having to ask for it or say it. 
So you changing, they are correct about you. It's you that's changing for your highest self, for your highest benefit, for the good of you. Okay. And we got the page of pentacles, right? You ready to pop out. You tired of bearing the weight. You tired of carrying all the responsibility. You want to do things that make you feel good, that makes you feel grounded, that puts you in a stable place, that elevates you. You know what I'm saying? So I feel why you doing it, but your person just not understanding everything was going good. We was communicating back and forth. It was starting to get real. We've been steady and one and all of a sudden, boom, you done with me. It's like they wanted to beg you to not leave or not or to 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 not cut them off. You know, it's like they really wanted to plead with you on that. But for whatever reason, I feel like they didn't. And now they're you're in their head heavy. So what else comes with this death card? And it's the strength. This is you and your power. This is definitely you and your power, Pisces. Really standing on what you believe. Owning yourself. Not being a prisoner or a victim to anything or anybody. This is just you building up the courage to say yes when you want to say yes and no when you want to say no. This is you standing on what you truly believe in your heart. So when it comes to this Ace of Wands, your person definitely wants a second chance. They feel like they the only one to touch you the way they do, make you feel the way you do. Right. And they felt like everything like we winners, like they know, you know, this they know that you are aware that they are kind of like the shit, okay? Just, they got an ego. They, they think highly of themselves, right? And they know you know that they are someone special that you recognize uh, whatever they feel for you because they feel like you feel it too. So they know, they feel like they the person for you. And, and if you don't recognize it, this six of wands showing up is, want, is them wanting you to see that they still interested and that they are the one for you. The ten of swords. So they got a lot of unfinished business with you, Pisces. They say, yeah, you may have ended it, but it ain't over. I still see a victory in this. I still see an opportunity I would love for you to give me a second chance type of energy, you know? So yeah, even though you cut me off, that don't mean it's over. It's like this person, you might uh, be a back and forth with this person. Like they feel like they're giving you some space and one day you will come back. You will be back. That's just what they feel. You will be back. You, you ain't going nowhere. Hermit. Yeah, go on and look for whatever you need. Go on and fulfill yourself. Go on, heal yourself, right? Because to the start. So this person knows that you may have been going through a lot and that you do need that time or space to yourself to figure things out, to get more grounded, to put everything into perspective. So it seems like this is something that they're used to. They're used to you on and off with them. You know, I'm here in a year. Like Pisces will let me go for a year and then you know, reach out to me or I reach out to them and then it's back on again. So I'm back winning again. I'm, I'm, I'm getting my second chance again. So they feel like you always come back. Look, you always come back. Do your thoughts need a reboot or are you repeating cycles? Are you going through the same cycles year after year after year dealing with the same person or the same people and every now and again you get an outlet every now and again you get to break free the universe opens up a spot for you to come out but if if they connect if they reach out if they connect and they catch you at the right time we go round and round and round again so do your thoughts need a reboot focus on the good in your life if this if you feel like this person is toxic for you or they not bringing any real pleasures into your life then you are right to seek out what it is that you really need, what it is that you really desire, what it is that you really want, what's really calling to you. What are you really looking for? Who are you? Do you know you? 
So this person got a great idea of why you letting them go. They just didn't want you to. Okay? Because they felt like you guys could have talked through this. Because everything's been going good. It's been steady. It's been stable. Okay? But now you got me blocked off. You don't want to talk to me. It's a lot of chaos. Okay? Within you. Or they feel in the chaos of not being around you. It's, it's making them angry. They're angry, really. Angry, hurt, or it's some term or whatever it is. It's something that's not sitting right with them because you got them blocked or you're not dealing with them or you cut them off. So, yeah, they're not happy about that, being blocked. Okay? They want everything to come into balance, okay? They want everything to be balanced here with the Six of Pentacles. This person wants to be fair. If they wasn't fair in the past, if they wasn't giving you the stability or what you needed or finances, whatever it was, they want to bring it into balance. They want it to uh, be some stability there. Okay, because without you, they realize how chaotic their life is, how how chaotic it feels inside of them to not have this balance. So I'm feeling like this person wants to restore the balance in this connection, king of swords. Okay, they feel like you both want the same thing, king of swords, queen of swords, both going in the same direction. Okay, so they feel like you understand them. They understand you. We know each other on a whole nother level, right? Why now? Why now? Why now, Pisces? Why you want to be single now? Why you don't want to mess with me now? Why you cutting people off out of your life? These are the questions they want to know, right? They know how you feel about them. They know you need to heal from some things that you didn't experience in life. They just don't know how deep it go for you. So why now? Why do you want to be single now? Oh, no. Okay. Because you're listening to yourself, right? You having higher, higher level conversations with yourself. You listening to your intuition. You following your instincts. You doing what's best for you and your highest good. And that is cutting this person off. No matter how they feel, how obsessed they are, how bad they beg, or how many chances they expect you to give them, or you know whether they want to keep you there mentally. You know, it's that's on you. But as far as Pisces, Pisces feel like. It's the best thing for them to do. I see what's that. It was the ten of cups in the world. You know what I'm saying? You're not happy in the old world. Look how you looking back at how unhappy all these situations you've been going through has made you feel. Okay, Pisces. And even though you moving forward, you still think about somebody you love. You really love this person. It's like a sabotage type of thing. Because this was in the upright, but I'm going to keep it like that. It feels like when something was going good, you cut it off. It was okay. It was stable. It was steady. And, and you, you, you went a different direction, but you still think about that. You want this 10 of cups in your life, but the right way. So this might be the right person, but everything is not happening in the right way. Could have started off wrong. Could have said something wrong. Could have did something wrong. And it's, it's, it's the right person, but maybe not the right time. Maybe they're not giving you the love and affection that you require from them. Okay. The tower comes with this nine of pentacles. Okay, and this is things falling apart, things changing for the better. This is the universe working this magic in this. This is a prime example of, you know, if it's someone you love or someone you really like like that, treat them right. You know, if you really love them, show them, tell them. You know, you can't be just running around having sex with people and, and thinking that's going to hold them. It's not. So your person, they just, you know, this wasn't built on the strong foundation. 
okay? It started off wrong. It's the right person, but it's the wrong time or the wrong things have begun to happen in this situation. Oh, no, that's too many cards. I mean, two of cups, three of cups, two of swords in reverse, two of cups in the upright Pisces. Uh, this person want to have a face-to-face -face conversation with you just express their feelings for you, okay? It's not a third party situation okay they know what they want from you have they given it to you i'm not sure i don't think so otherwise you'll still be there you know but they do want to have a face-to-face -face conversation with you about how they feel come on one card at a time please The five of pentacles. And you notice there's only one person in this five of pentacles. There's nobody else there. Okay. This person feels lonely without you. Okay. Um, they feel like you left them out in the cold. Like they don't understand it. Okay. They don't understand why you left. When everything was so stable and going good. When they felt like they was winning. Okay, it's crossing all this energy. It's the nine of swords, Pisces. This person can't get you off their mind. They think about you so much, you know, and I ain't really getting to the point of why. It don't matter why. Like I said, I've clarified it here with the death card. You ended this because you're on the healing journey and anything that's not matching the frequency of your progress or your alignment, you're letting it go. You ready to come up out of handling all this responsibility and all this weight on your shoulders and you want to make yourself a solid offer. You standing on business with that. You in your power with that. If this person want an opportunity with you, they felt like they was winning with you and you ended it, they know it was because it's you seeking out your true purpose. I feel like this person knows you have a gift or you have a true purpose in this life and they may not be a part of it if they can't get on board or get in alignment. So it really is something special about this person. It's things about you they know that you don't think they know because I feel like they're highly intuitive. It's just we on this physical plane. We in this physical realm. And this person's desire and flesh is getting the best of them. And even though they talk to you about things, it's never really about what they feel truly inside. But since you departed from them, they want to be real. They want to come up and they want to be real because they feel like things was going too good and everything was on the up and up. And for you to all of a sudden block them or cut them off, it just brings up the chaos in them. It don't sit well with them. So they want to find mutual common grounds to bring restore balance in this situation. Talk about all the facts. Talk. Let's get it straight. Let's figure it out. Okay? Because they know you don't really want to be single. But you're listening to your higher self. And your higher self is saying, Pisces... You have to do what's best for you. So that's when the tower came. The universe gave you the strength to put, put your shit into perspective. And anybody who isn't ready to pour into you or aligning with that healing journey you're on, they're going to miss out. And I feel like this person is missing out. And because they're missing out, they're stressing out. They're losing sleep. And all they think about is you. So that's the energy. Let's get a message in love here from the universe when it comes to you and this person. Cause and effect, period. I knew it. Cause and effect because they wasn't treating you right because they you were so unsure, right? They were unreliable. This is one of those connections where you don't want to be with nobody where you're unsure or you don't know or you got to guess and do all that. So the card says... You are aware that the love you create in your thoughts is an agent of change and the foundation of your results. So this is like, like I said, you having those high level conversations with yourself, you listening to your intuition and you refusing to accept anything less of what you require or what you deserve. You put yourself on the standard, you in a whole nother caliber and you not settling no more that's the thing you just not settling no more and it's something you don't have to explain 
Like I said, this person know what you want out of love, romance, and relationships. And if I want to sit up here and play with you, knowing what you want, and I ain't giving it to you, they should have expected to get cut off. But they think you weak. They think you a sucker. They think you always going to come back. You always come back. What? You going to give it a year? I'm going to give you some space, six months, two months, two days, three hours, whatever. I'm going to give you your little space. But I know as soon as I reach out to you, you will let me back in. And we're going to go round and round and round. But not this time, Pisces says. Not this time. Because I'm realizing, I'm aware, I'm awakening more up to what I feel and what I deserve and what my responsibilities are. I'm standing in my strength. So that's the energy, Pisces. I hope it resonated for you. Let's get a practical self-care oracle to close out the reading. And let's see what other guidance the universe has for you at this time. Pisces, oh man. You got validate your past. You did the best you could. Feel and empathize with your past, not judge it, okay? It is what it is for you. You did what you could. You put a lot of effort and time into this situation, and it still didn't go in your favor. So, you know, you let it go. You didn't judge it. You didn't let you let it go. You didn't judge yourself either. It is what it is, and let me go seek out what my true purpose is. And the only way I can find my true purpose is if I release the things I know that's serving me no purpose. All right? So let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see which chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspirational quote that we can say to ourselves each and every day. Pisces, you have the second chakra, and it's the sacral chakra, and this one is relevant to well-being. I honor and respect my body by giving it what it deserves to thrive. I provide myself with the best of foods, exercise, water, relaxation, therapeutic treatments, and thoughts. I only consume foods and liquids that were designed by nature to be in my body. I stimulate my body's energy flow with exercise. I make Time to rest as stillness and tranquility are vital to keeping my mind and body rejuvenated. So well-being is the positive energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. Bye. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.